Hey, good morning. Today's Bible study comes from Mark chapter 1, verses 35 through 39. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went to look for him, and when they found him, they exclaimed, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, Let us go somewhere else to the nearby villages so I can preach there also. That is why I've come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. Um, this is a short lesson a day also. Jesus prays. But if you look where Jesus is praying at, he left early in the morning to be alone with him and the Lord. And while it was still dark, Jesus got up. And he left the house and went to a solitary place, which it tells us to find a place where we can talk to God by ourselves and just be with the Lord, to thank him, to praise him, to lift him up, to worship him, to repent, and to tell him about our problems. And he prayed. He was praying. And he got up early in the morning to go do this. Simon and his companions went to look for him, and his friends were looking for him. And they found him. They exclaimed, everyone is looking for you. Of course everyone was looking for him. He had just got done healing people, casting out demons. Jesus was working. So Jesus replies to him, let us go somewhere else, to the nearby villages. Jesus was leaving that area, but look at what he says when he says, let us go somewhere else to the nearby village. His, his response is, why is, so I can preach there also, so I can keep spreading the word. So people can see the God in me. That is why I've come. Uh oh, the reason he came was to preach the word and to heal. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. Satan was loose in the world at this time, and he was possessing people. His demons were possessing people. And Jesus came to preach the word to strengthen us, to teach us, to tell us how to be more like him, how to do what the Father expects of us, and how to repent so that we know and have a chance at glory. And then he was driving out demons. Satan's team didn't have a chance. Jesus was walking up on them and telling them, get out of here. Don't say a word. So, just be thankful and know that God has loved us always. And he continuously works for us. And Jesus petitions for us all the time. Amen.